Hey guys, uh, it's Anna and Cedar again. We're here to do. Yes, it is. <laughs> We're here to do an art lesson for you. Um, again this week and this week we're going to do our dragon packet so if you'll pull that out it's the how to draw a dragon packet here and it's got um, a dragon there and it's got some castle inspiration for you um, what you're going to need today is your crayons you can use a crayon or you can use um, oil pastels and then you will also need a pair of scissors and um, some tape or glue and then you'll need some watercolors as well so i'm going to pause the video and let you gather up all of your stuff if you'll just hit pause and then come back and join us. okay we're back we've got all our supplies laid out um cedar yeah. what do you like about drawing dragons they're cool they're, cool. they're fat, they're fat. <laughs> <laughs> you like dinosaurs and dinosaurs and dragons are really similar aren't they Yes, what's your favorite dinosaur? T-Rex. T-Rex. And you were doing something today out in the garden with your Indoraptor, right? Second favorite Indoraptor. Huh? My second favorite dinosaur is Indoraptor. Second favorite is Indoraptor. And you were telling me that he was a, what kind of an eater? A herbivore. A herbivore? <laughs> I changed him to a herbivore. Yes, he didn't like that Indoraptors were carnivores, and so he changed it in his game to pretend that he's an herbivore because he only wanted him to eat plants not other animals he's nice <laughs> he's nice okay so you're going to need a crayon of any color one that is on the darker side i'm going to use the um black and you're going to use red? red okay all right let me pause this we've got us um a little blurred out there hey, i got us back don't don't do it <laughs> don't you do it Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna give me a little sideways V that is gonna be the beginnings of his mouth. So over there on this side of your paper towards the top, up here, you're gonna draw a little sideways V. Can you do it? And then from that V, you're gonna give him a little bit of a curved line. Uh huh. It's kinda like a seven. You're gonna give him a little curved line right here. Yep. Good, and then from there, you're gonna draw a big, loose U. Like that, big on your paper. Oops, right here. And if you make mistakes, don't worry, we're gonna cut him out. There you go, and then go all the way up to here for his tail. <laughs> there you go, good. <laughs> now on the top, I'm gonna give him a little bump for his nose. See my bump? Start right here. There. Right here. Yep. Oh, that's the wrong way. Go the other way. There you go. He's going to have a funky nose. <laughs> and then I'm going to give him a little bump for his head. Curved line for his head. Up here. That way. Mm hmm. Good job. And then I'm going to draw a little bit of a stretched out U to go be his back and into his tail. That so, looks like a duck. It does look like a duck right now. So you're going to draw it down and then out. And parents, if you need to help your kids, feel free to lightly draw the line and let them trace it. We want them to feel successful. Good. Okay, and then we're going to add the end of his tail, and that's a triangle. Everybody knows how to make a triangle. Can you put a triangle right here? Uh huh. All of art is just a bunch of shapes coming together to make what you want. Curved lines, straight lines. Triangles, shapes, squares, and circles. And I could erase that. That's okay. We're going to cut him out, remember? Okay, now we're going to put in one arm. See how I did my arm? It's just a little S curve here. And then give him some claws. Oops, wrong end. So you're going to draw his front arm and then his back arm. Give him some claws. 
And usually you wanna draw with pencil so that you can erase the lines that you cross over. For this one, we're gonna color him in, so we'll fix all of that. You gotta give him some claws. So it looks like his, his arm is cut off. <laughs> There we go. Good. And then you need another one coming out right here. Yep. Perfect. Good job. Okay, now let's draw his legs. Now, we gotta have a hip. His little ham hock here. It's gotta be a curved line like that. So you're gonna start right about the middle of his body and give me a curved line. Good. And then you're going to give me a straight line and then make it an L. Good. That's the beginning of his foot. And then we're going to give him some toes. You do that. Okay, then he needs another leg and another foot. He got chunky legs. Okay, so here's your second foot. He's not chunky. He's a. Okay, go. Draw that one in. What's your dinosaur's name? I don't know. I never did name him. You didn't? Well, who's dinosaur? Your dinosaur. Or your dragon, sorry. What kind of dinosaur? Okay, we got one more. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever you want. We got one more thing to do. We're going to draw his wing. And you can see um, on our How to Draw a Dragon. We don't have to put wings on yours. I'm going to put wings on mine. We're going to do, this kind of looks like an umbrella to me, like a little inside out umbrella to start his wings. So, I don't know if you can see me, see my paper or not, but it's like a, like a turned inside out umbrella with the spines of that. You're going to draw those lines, a little starburst there. And then you're going to connect them with curved lines for his, um, wing there and that's going to be connected to his back okay good do you want wing on a wing on yours it looks scary with wings. okay well you don't have to put that on there okay now we're going to add the details he needs you don't have to make him you can make him smile it's okay this is your dinosaur or your dragon Okay, so he needs an eye. Can you give him an eyeball? And he needs a nostril and a couple of teeth. And this one has a horn, so we're gonna give him a horn here. Draw all those details in. And you can make yours be whatever you want. I'm gonna draw in the scales on his back. all the way down his tail and then because he's a lizard he has kind of a snake like belly so we're going to draw that in that do you want him to have a belly a unicorn <laughs> a unicorn yeah do you want to give him the little scales on the back Uh-huh, good. You want to give him a belly? He has a belly. See, like that? Give me a here. Let me help you trace that out. This is going to go like this. And then you can draw in the, you can trace my line and then draw in the sideways lines. And then we're going to give him a couple of bumpy wart looking things. It could be scales or knots on his skin because we know they have scaly skin right good 
Okay, so while you're finishing that up, we're going to color in our dinosaur. You can just be creative as you want to um, for your dinosaur. So I'm gonna pause the video and let you guys color in your dinosaur and then we'll be back to draw in the castle and cut him out and complete our artwork. Okay, we are back. Um, we finished our <laughs> We finished our dinosaurs and we cut them out. So, um, parents, I did help Cedar cut his out. He lacks the dexterity to get in those little bitty cracks. But um, don't aim for perfection. Like, mine is not totally cut out perfectly either. Um, we just need the shape. So, we're going to lay that aside. You lay yours down. And we're going to start building the castle where the dragon is going to be storming. You had to put it down. Can you grab another dark crayon? Okay. okay, so pull out the second page of your packet and there is an example of a castle. You do not have to draw your castle exactly like what you see. Um, we're gonna do our own variation and just like there are no two people alike, there are no two artworks alike. So everyone's will look different and everyone's is good. Okay, let's keep going. Um, I am going to start with the road here. Can you do that two slanted lines? Coming out like the drawbridge. Can you make that on your paper? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give it an arched opening for the gate. I need to copy yours. Okay. Slats in there. Hey, hey. Okay. Oh, okay, you can see. Keep going. Don't quit. I'm going to put some triangles down at the bottom of mine. You want to do that? Yeah. Like that? Okay, and then I'm gonna draw the road. And this is using a little bit of a advanced technique of perspective, but you can never start too early learning that. So, Cedar, look, look on your paper, you're gonna draw your road out like that. And then like this. Can you trace that? I need that day. You can. Okay, so then I'm gonna start, I think I'm gonna put one of those spires on either side. something to go by. Okay, keep drawing this out. And then you're going to put another one right here. And then that's it. Okay, keep going. So our castles are just a bunch of 
squares and circles and ovals. You can make this as easy or hard as you would like to. Okay, now you need to come up this way. I can't draw up your lane on my drawing hand. Okay, Let's see if you can do that one. And I'm gonna put a, oh wow, I think I'm losing my artist here, he's sleepy. I'm gonna draw a flag in there. Either side. Okay. And then you can draw, you know how to draw rectangles. Oop, you gotta trace this one in. Come on. Mm -hmm. Good job. Good job. Keep going. You can draw rectangles in for some of the windows. Just keep adding those details as we go. There's no right way or wrong way to draw your castle. You could make it a princess castle if you wanted to. Cedar. Oh, did you name your dragon yet? Oh, it's gonna be nice. Don't. Okay, then we have to add in some brick detail. And when you're drawing, you don't have to draw every single individual brick. You can just kind of get the idea that that surface is brick. So we're gonna kind of draw a few lines here and connect them. Mommy, I traced everything you did. Good job. Oh, awesome. Can you draw some rectangles in here for windows? So we're gonna add some horizontal lines and some bricks. Yeah. Good, keep going. There's gotta be more than one window in that big wall. And these horizontal lines, don't overthink them. The more you think about stuff like this, it, the less realistic it looks. Good job. Okay, see these lines that I'm drawing sideways? Can you put those on your little columns there? Mm. Hmm? What? What I'm drawing in right here. Can you try from... Can you try Like this. Some short and some long. Okay, good. All right. Okay, so this is where we need our watercolors. We're going to open up our watercolors. We're going to oh, paint in the... No. <laughs> I don't think my helper is as enthusiastic as he has been in the past. I think <laughs> he might be a little tired because it's Monday. Okay. I know. It's just... We're not doing school, we're doing art. We don't want to do school every day. <laughs> okay, so we just need a... I'm using watercolor. I'm going to slip. Here. Which one do you want, the big brush or the little brush? 
Okay, okay. so I'm going to put the water over here near him. And we're going to start watercoloring in our background and our castle. I'm going to get my sky blue because it's going to be a happy day instead of a sad day. No storm clouds for me. No. You want to start painting? Um, I don't know if I can do what the game is. Why can't you do it for me? Because it's your artwork, boy. <laughs> you can do it. No, I can't. Yes, you can. No, I can't. Just start. Yeah. Paint your sky in. <laughs> Just have fun. <laughs> you can't paint with your fingers with watercolor. <laughs> I figured that out. Get started. It's mm -hmm. Remember with watercolors, the more water, the more transparent the color. The less water, the more opaque the color. Mine's gonna be a happy day. A happy day. <laughs> blue skies. Blue skies. It's sunny. It's sunny. The happy princess. I'm going to paint my grass in. A happy princess. Is a happy princess. 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 Try not to mix them. That makes it hard for the next person who's got to paint. Okay. Okay, and then I'm just going to paint my castle. Uh, I'm going to paint the door brown because that was probably wooden back then. And I'm going to paint the drawbridge brown. Black and I love gray dragon. And then, I think I'm going to take my crayon and I'm going to color my windows in black. Yes. Three o'clock. Yes. Mom, I'm not done with the stuff. That's okay. How are you all right of <laughs> Just keep working. No, <laughs> I'm going to color in my windows because I don't want those filled with watercolor. And remember, everywhere you draw with the crayon creates a resist for your watercolors. I want my windows to look dark. Okay. And then I'm just going to give my castle a wash in gray. Now, if you're like me, you don't have a gray watercolor. So if you think about it, what, what can you use to make gray with watercolor? It would be black, but it would be really wet black because the lighter the black is, the more gray it looks. So I'm gonna have a nice wet brush and I'm gonna start spreading this out all over my castle so that it looks gray instead of black. Did 
you name your dragon yet? No. <gasps> Why not? No. Did you name yours? I think I'm. I think my dragon's gonna be named Petunia. <laughs> Mine's going to be named Potato. Potato, okay. No. Dun dun dun. 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 Dun dun Get it just like you want it. Which cap? Oh, I'm gathering. Let that um, paint soak up into your paper. And then after that, you're going to take the dragon that you cut out and you're going to place that dragon on there, either with glue or tape, wherever you want to. Um, if you're thinking about the rule of thirds, you probably want to divide your paper into three and place it somewhere where those lines intersect. If not, you can just place them in the sky, whatever you want. Um, so we're gonna finish up here and then I will attach a picture of our finished product. But thank you for creating art with us today. We enjoyed it. Did you have fun? We're gonna keep working. Did you have fun? Yeah. Did you decide you said potato was yours, right? Potato is not your dragon's name? Oh. Okay, he's still thinking. I'll let you know what he decided. Pickles. We'll see you later. Pickles. <laughs> That's a good name. We'll see you later.